Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Ms. Colon, and I'm a science teacher at Baldwin Middle Senior High School. And I'm welcoming you to this year's uh, open house, virtual open house. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my class for this. I'm just going to start sharing a presentation with all of you. Um, so let me just full screen. OK, so like I said, welcome to this year's uh, open house, a little bit different than other years. Um, I want to talk about my class or classes. So I teach three classes at the school. Uh, one of them is advanced placement or AP biology or AP bio. Um, I also teach biology and biology honors um, and I teach environmental science. Um, I have several goals uh, when it comes to my classes. So the main four are for students to understand the process that's involving science and scientific inquiry, um, as well for them to develop uh, laboratory and analysis skills. Um, I also want them to gain appreciation for the importance of science in the world that's around them, um, as well as understand the underlying principles rather than just memorizing facts. Um, here uh, you have my contact information, so you have my email and uh, phone where you can um, leave a message. Um, by email is how it's easier to kind of get a hold of me kind of a faster way. Um, I offer tutoring uh, via Teams on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And when um, students are face to face, uh, it's on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. at room uh, 129. OK, so uh, I have several uh, grading policies uh, for work uh, that's going to be submitted. Um, for while we have this COVID-19, um, I'm not taking any papers. Um, so basically all work is available for download via Focus, where students also submit all the work. Um, students uh, will be told when any assessment are not done via Focus. This means that when these are done via Performance Matters, uh, they will be um, told about this. So students also know this has student testing. Um, like I said, paper submissions are not accepted due to COVID-19. My grading policies, I use a point-based system. So basically it's just a normal grading scale, um, 190A, 89, 80B, 79, 70C, 69, 60 is a D, and 59 or anything lower is an F. So it means I don't use weighted grades. Um, so basically I use that point-based system. Uh, when it comes to late work, uh, so whenever a student submits anything that's late, um, they're gonna lose 10 points, or I'm sorry, 10% for each day. Uh, that they submit after the assignment due date. Um, I do this until they reach the threshold of a 50%. So it means that if an assignment uh, it's worth 10 points and a student submits one day late, so they only lose one point. So not they can get nine out of 10 if they didn't forget or got something, um, got something wrong uh, for the rest of the assignment. However, if a student uh, submits an assignment that's worth 10 points, um, they submit it 15 days late. So basically by my 10% rule, um, they earn uh, more, basically a zero. Uh, instead of me giving them a zero, what I do is uh, I, the, the best uh, or the highest uh, grade that they can get is like a 50%. So basically, um, I don't give them a zero. I kind of gave them that threshold of 50%. Um, so the due date for each assignment, I give it in class as well as I post it on focus under each assignment. They Each one will have that deadline. Um, under the respective assignment on focus, you will see uh, also when it was assigned and that uh, and next to it, you will see that due date. Um, each, each zero I enter into the grade book, I always put a comment uh, of why is it zero. Um, 
if it's because they didn't submit the assignment, maybe uh, they got the assignment wrong, maybe uh, the student needs to resubmit. So it's important for students, even parents, to keep track of those comments so that the um, student knows what they need to do. So for makeup work, uh, the students is the ones responsible for completing this makeup work. Um, I, I have print uh, in class or so whenever students come face to face, if they need a print to copy because they don't own a printer, um, I can provide that for them. They just need to request it from me. If I don't have it, I will make sure I get one for them or they can just download it from Focus. Most Pretty much all my documents are uh, a PDF, uh, are sorry, a Word document and uh, PowerPoints. Um, and if a, if a document is a PDF, I just tell a student you can use a piece of paper, or they can um, basically use um, any new Word document and just type the answers. That's no problem with that. Uh, whenever they use any piece of paper. Um, uh, filler paper or something, they can just take a picture of it and upload it. Um, so makeup work, I uh, I take it to receive full or partial credit only if it's within this two grades, two weeks grace period I give. So it means from the time the student was absent, they have two weeks to request the work. OK, so they will have the same amount of dates they were absent to complete this work. So it means if they were absent two days, so they have two days to complete that work. Um, a zero will be entered for the assignment that the that the student missed during those days. So it will probably have a comment saying student was absent, needs to complete, or it can say needs to complete or reach out to the teacher. So it, like I said before, it's important for students to just keep track of my comments. Uh, and then I will replace this grade as soon as the student just gives me uh, their assignment. Um, Grading policies as well. I have uh, different extra credit opportunities that I post under focus. Um, I usually will tell students when these are available. Um, the extra credit, um, I do not give it at request. So it means that the student cannot come and just tell me like, just give me some extra credit and I'll do the work. It's important that students complete their main assignments before uh, focusing on this extra credit. Um, there will be extra credit opportunity throughout uh, quarters. Um, and sometimes I will put these opportunities when they're completing tests. Uh, I always tell students it's important to meet the expectations of behavior or completing tasks they're assigned to because this type of, of expectation, meeting this expectation, can actually pay off. So in case I were to be absent um, during the days that it's face to face, uh, I will uh, leave instruction and other information uh, and this will be communicated um, basically to the main office and the main office will then uh, have someone basically uh, cover for me. So online, uh, I always tell students, make sure you are checking for our announcements. Uh, I have my general channel where I post all the announcements. I also have all my lesson recordings um, channel. Uh, in my recordings, I mention uh, important information all the time, even if I might be absent so the students are aware of it. Um, and instructions will always be made either via teams or school personnel. So that means uh, in case that there's a sub for one of my classes or all of them. Um, with this, basically, uh, I just wanted to give you that kind of brief uh, introduction about my class, what are my expectation late policies and some uh, of the other kind of uh, important points of it. Um, but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to just reach out to me. You can send me an email and as soon as I, I can, I'll get back to you. So have a good day and hope to see everyone uh, soon. Bye.